Big Pine. Welcome to today's episode. Watching MD90 live here in Lusaka, here in Zambia. So stay tuned till the very end. Don't click out and subscribe if you haven't. Hey guys, hope you're doing fine. Welcome to today's episode. Watching MD90 live here in Lusaka, here in Zambia. So stay tuned till the very end. Don't click out and subscribe if you haven't already. So as you may be aware, Boma Lusambo has a number of uh, court cases. So he has some in Lusaka and uh, another one in Kawe. So he was in Kawe earlier on. And then right after the court case, he decided to pay a visit at the Mukobeko Maximum Prison there. So that's where that image was taken. So the details are that uh, Boma Lusambo visits uh, Chilango and uh, Chitotera. So patriotic front a member of the Central Committee, Honorable Boman Lusambo, and uh, Central Province uh, PF Chairperson uh, uh, Chamber, have visited PF Kawamba, uh, Member of Parliament, Nixon Chilangwa, and Pembeshe, Member of Parliament, uh, Ronald Chitotera, um, and, other, and the others who are incarcerated at Mkobeko Maximum Prison in Kawe. So, so those are the people that have visited. They are currently have spent 50 days in prison. So Chilangwa and, uh, and Chitotera have been in prison now. It's been 50 days. Each time flies. Uh, yeah, so uh, in prison, Ayenu Sambo was happy to find the three uh, leaders and they are co-accused in high spirits as they encouraged uh, them um, and the rest of the PF uh, leaders who are not uh, in prison to continue to, uh, uh, to stick together and provide uh, the necessary leadership uh, that uh, Zambian people uh, desire. So those are the images uh, of Boma Lusambo at Mukobeko Maximum Prison. But the thing that, that was notable in the comment section, people are like, no, he's just going to make a reservation for his own slot at uh, Mukobeko Maximum Prison there on this visit. So this is uh, right uh, before they entered the, the premises, um, some Monday uh, visitors. What is the UPND have reported that uh, you, you can't hide behind uh, Facebook and insult in the name of uh, freedom of uh, speech. Police pick up former diplomat Bangwe Navide, the anti-cyber security of Zambia has picked up a former diplomat Bangwe Navide for running a rogue page promoting hate speech. So Bangwe Navide is the one on the right there. And uh, the UPND report to say he's been picked up by uh, Zambia police for running a Facebook page, uh, which was uh, promoting hate speech. And then the, uh, the PF responded to say, so Felix Mutati and Jack Mumbo, when are, they, when are you closing Koswe? A rogue uh, paper run uh, by state house uh, media, they allege. So the patriotic friend responding to that arrest of Bangwe Navide saying, even Koswe also pushes uh, some articles that uh, okay, can be regarded as uh, hate speech. So when are those people that run in Koswe going to be picked up according to the PF there? And then um, uh, Munia Zulu, this is a Lumezi member of parliament. He, he had uh, something to say about uh, JJ Banda. As you may be aware, JJ Banda has been on the run pretty much for, for the entire month of August, if not even more than that. Uh, I'm sure you know the backstory where he was at Chipata uh, General Hospital and then uh, he escaped uh, out from the supervision of uh, five uh, security personnel. So Munia um, Zulu put up this post uh, with that image you see on screen. So what you're seeing on screen, that's a ceiling board, uh, that, a broken ceiling board. Um, and then Munia Zulu alleges this uh, when he attached that photo. So he says, uh, information being received is that the uh, state had, uh, had to break into a Chipata businessman's house in search for Honorable Emmanuel J. Banda. Honestly, you push people to practice unconventional methods to, to be safe. This is Africa, and people will go to meet their ancestors. When so, um, Nia Zulu is alleging to say the police had broken into this businessman's house in uh, Chipata uh, in search for JJ Banda. So, uh, as you can see, that hole in the roof there uh, that's according to Munia's update. He further on said, uh, We will. Uh, we, uh, 
we will be experiencing a lot of uh, misfortunes as people do unconventional issues to survive the UPND police. So he says, as you remember from the previous post where he said, people will go and see their ancestors for them to get the necessary protection from the UPND police. So he further doubled down to say that. And then uh, Mzala Simukonga uh, wins a Diamond uh, League in uh, Rome, Italy after clocking uh, 43 seconds uh, in the race and uh, which qualifies him to the next round. So Mzala, the Olympic uh, bronze medalist, Zambian bronze medalist is uh, still shining there. Uh, the UPNDC Ch uh, Chief Judges uh, Mumba Marila rushed to hospital after our official vehicle was bashed into near civic center. So this news was received uh, on the 20 to 20, uh, 19 hours yesterday, there about, uh, when the UPND broke that news. And then uh, this morning, uh, Tabo Kawana gave an update to the nation. So uh, uh, Tabo said this on the UPND page. So the Chief Justice is safe and stable condition and admitted to my Nasoko Hospital. He is uh, responding well to treatment. So that's the update with regard to that. Uh, and then uh, on a sad note, uh, Zambia Police Service Deputy Spokesperson Danny Mualem has died after suffering a stroke uh, this morning. This was posted by PF and other uh, media platforms. Funeral of the late Mualem is at, uh, at home in Charleston Police Camp. Our condolences to the Mualem family and the police service. So, uh, the, and then uh, Munia Zulu doubled down. He went to say, we mourn with your family together with many Zambians have been abducted. Indeed, uh, we are all travelers on this earth and we must uh, at least try to uh, be good to our immediate neighbors. We cannot live uh, a life uh, thinking that we are, we are immortal. Uh, let's be kind to each other. That's a message coming from Munia Zulu. And then uh, the police gave an update of what had happened to Mumba Marila. Uh, so uh, this was posted by the UPND. They say, a serious road traffic accident along Independence Avenue. So Honorable Chief Justice uh, Dr. Mumba Marila, State Council, who sustained a cut on his uh, forehead, left eye, and uh, left leg, uh, was rushed to the UTH for medical treatment. And uh, on August 30th, the Zambia police um, said this long acre traffic attended to a serious uh, road traffic accident that occurred uh, uh, at approximately 19 hours along uh, uh, Independence Avenue opposite the Civic Center bus stop. So that's where that accident happened of the Chief Justice. And I'm sure the police and the state will keep updating the nation of this condition as you listen to the earlier post from uh, Tawakawana stating that uh, he's um, responding well to treatment. Uh, more messages coming in from the police with regard to the uh, Deputy Public Relations Officer, Dan Mwale, uh, the late. So more messages coming from that. And that's the image of uh, Boman Osambo area one at Mukoveko Maximum Prison where he was really, uh, visited uh, Chilangwa and Chitotela. That's the news, ladies and gentlemen. Have a beautiful weekend.